do do you do all the consultations yourself or do your team members do them? I do not any longer do all the yeah, consultations. That's, that's the thing. I, yeah, for a really get, long yeah. time, probably until the last year, I tried to do all of them. But now I, I trust my team and um, try to make sure that I'm still present in cases, yeah. even if I didn't do the consult. But that's there are some things thing. I need to. I still have the most sophisticated skills in terms of communicating with prospective clients. Yeah. And yeah, that, but that's the, like a big really thing. Good, so. yeah, I don't that, mean to like just my team. They're amazing. Yeah, no, I hear you, but it's just hard to, it's like your baby, it's like give it to someone else mm -hmm. and you want to get involved, but you got to like stop. Mm -hmm. That's a, it's been a big mental psychological issue for me to deal with the last couple of years. Yeah, it's really hard. I think that if I had not run for office, I would never have been able to delegate and trust to the extent that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, I, and I would be fine with that. Like I really, I do love my firm and my clients and I, I, I would like in a perfect world, I'd like to clone myself and have them all have full <laughs> access to me. Um, but in an imperfect world, like, like in um, the seven habits of highly effective people, he talks about the difference between like managing and leading. And so I've, I've like moved into the role of leader of the firm and just making sure people understand like, what is our ethos? What is our level of quality and service and compassion? Like I, I try to really make it clear to people like I like you're not there to just do the work you're there to like be like a compassionate friendly presence throughout this process so yeah. trying to make sure that people can infuse into their own work what I try to bring when I meet with people directly. Mm -hmm.